Greetings from the Pottery Studio at Kendall at Longwood. Kendall at Longwood is a continuing care retirement community located in the historic Brandywine Valley of Chester County, Pennsylvania. My name is Sally Palmer, and I'd like to share with you an overview of our Pottery Studio. Let me say at the onset that this video is not intended to teach the intricacies of making pottery, but rather to highlight a rewarding leisure time activity within our community and the opportunity for community members to participate in this creative art form. The pottery studio at Kendall has a rich history. When the concept of a retirement community was first developed, in the early 70s, a pottery studio was part of the original building design. Space was planned for a large, bright, and well-equipped room. Nearly 50 years later, the space still serves its intended use. The studio is well-equipped with ample table and shelf space, several potter's wheels, many glaze colors, and three electric kilns. Our potters at Kendall have many reasons to make pottery. Creating pottery is an artistic and enjoyable form of expression. It can be used for outdoor ornamentation, such as these charming garden mushrooms. It can be used as indoor, decorative, or functional pieces, and it makes a lovely gift for special occasions. The Pottery Studio is totally supported by the sale of the pottery which our potters create. During the course of the year, we build an inventory, and in December, a sale is held which ensures the self-supporting objective of the group. There is no charge to residents for supplies, instruction, or overhead. There are several methods of making pottery. John demonstrates wheel thrown pottery. A ball of clay is put in the center of a rotating wheel as the wheel spins. The clay is shaped. A rib is used to smooth the bowl. and a trimming tool is used to create the base. Janet demonstrates another method called hand building. In this case, Janet is making a whimsical giraffe. This method doesn't use a wheel. Rather, the object is created by shaping clay with one's hands. It's further embellished by carving detail into the clay. This photo shows both the bowl and giraffe having been formed to the potter's liking. The next step in the process is the bisque firing. After the objects have been air dried for a number of days, they are extremely fragile, so they are gently loaded into the kiln for bisque firing. The bisque firing makes the clay hard and yet still porous so that it can absorb wet glazes and not disintegrate or fall apart. When the pottery is removed, there is usually a noticeable color change. The next step in the process is to glaze the pottery. After the glaze is mixed, John dips his bowl into a vat of glaze. The bottom of the bowl cannot have glaze on it or it will stick to the kiln when fired. John leaves a small unglazed rim at the bottom of the bowl to prevent this. Another common method is to coat the bottom with a wax that helps repel the glaze. Because Janet wants to give her giraffe more detail, 
she applies glaze with a brush to achieve the desired look. The final step is a second firing. A group of objects is carefully positioned in the kiln and fired at a much higher temperature than the bisque firing, the temperature often exceeding 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This process will melt and fuse the glaze. When the kiln is opened, a burst of color appears. The firing has transformed the drab glaze into its true colors. The light spots on the giraffe now appear as distinct brown, and the bowl has a glossy finish. The giraffe and other objects will be added to inventory for upcoming Christmas sale. There are several accomplished and professional potters at Kendall. Their creative talent is seen in this beautiful picture a casual lazy day frog, a pair of colorful birds that are sure to complement any collection, a playful dog with his eyes on an inquisitive squirrel, and the centerpiece, an artistically handcrafted vase with a floral relief. Our potters are always willing to help and encourage the beginner. Classes are also held periodically for beginners who have no previous experience. Because Kendall at Longwood is a continuing care retirement community, the opportunity to work with clay and create pottery isn't limited to the pottery studio. In addition to our pottery studio offerings, Jan Clodius, Activities Director of Personal and Skilled Care frequently has pottery activity for residents in this area. Watch as Jan hosts a pottery session with Ted, her volunteer assistant, and the ever watchful eye of Lacey. Working with clay and creating an object is therapeutic for all. It's relaxing. It's easily adapted for those with visual impairment. It provides tactile stimulation and is a nonverbal means of expression. But most of all, it's fun. The activity we are going to do is to create a serving dish. So each potter picks out a leaf, makes an impression of it in the flattened piece of clay, and then shapes the clay into a bowl. Our potters are pleased to demonstrate their creative talent.
Thank you, Potters. You've created some very nice bowls. Finally, the time for Kendall's annual pottery sale has arrived. December is always a festive time at Kendall. The decorations, concerts, and special dining add to the excitement, and perhaps an early snowfall will transform our landscape into the iconic white Christmas. The pottery sale is anticipated and adds to the festive mood. The shelves are well stocked with pottery that has been created during the year. Each piece is inspected and priced, and the main lounge is transformed into a two-day sale event with a colorful array of items on display. The sale promptly opens at the designated time as shoppers are eager to find that special piece. At the end of the sale, the studio announces that the event was a success. Buyers obtained hand-crafted creations at modest prices, and the studio will again be self-supporting during the coming year. The Pottery Studio's cycle has come full circle. The near-empty shelves will be replenished in anticipation of next year's sale. Novice potters will continue to work alongside experienced artists, and the long-established tradition of Kendall's Pottery Studio will live on. <laughs>